getting ready for start number 25 of the year is Blake Snell. He has been absolutely phenomenal since May. You look at the ERA 263. He could have a chance to be the first pitcher in history to lead the league in ERA and walks. The walks have really been a non factor because the stuff from Blake Snell has been just dominant all season long. He looks to continue what has been a long stretch of good starts here tonight as the Padres try to get this series against the Orioles. It's kind of a half day off for Rutschman. He'll be the designated hitter for the Orioles here tonight after catching first two games of the series. So he is a catcher, a switch hitter, and a leadoff guy. You don't often see those three things put together. Especially do you? the leadoff part for a catcher. Very unusual. But and Rutschman will get that second hit of the road trip. Knocking a changeup back up the box, a leadoff single against Blake Snell. Boy, that is a good start for the Orioles, too, because Blake Snell has been tough to get base hits off of this year. Adley Brutchman just looking for that ball in the outside part of the plate. It almost looked like a little bit of a slider as it kind of worked its way back to the barrel of the bat, and a good start for the Orioles here in the top of the first. So Snell with the runner at first, and Ryan Mountcastle opposing him. Breaking ball in the dirt, knocked down by Sanchez, kicks out in front, throws to second, and Rutschman on the move makes it up there on the wild pitch. Good dirt ball read by Adley. Rutschman on that Snell curveball. He advances into scoring position. Check of second, 1 1 pitch. Mount Castle drives it to right field, pushes Tatis back on the warning track. He'll make the catch in front of the LED board. Rutschman tags from second and makes it to third. Mount Castle can't extend the hit streak, but it's loud contact to the opposite field. Seen a lot of that from Mount Castle recently. And a possible Orioles first run is 90 feet away with Santander stepping in. And Santander elevates this one. Smashed out to right center field. Tatis Jr. has a beat on it. But the Orioles dent the major league ERA leader in just three batters. A single, a wild pitch, a productive fly out from Mountcastle, a sacrifice fly from Santander, and it's one nothing out of the shoot. Well done. Andy Rutschman takes an extra 90 on a ball in the dirt. You get a fly ball push deep enough to push him to third, and Anthony Santander with a sacrifice fly. Gunnar Henderson, the left-handed batter, is the cleanup hitter here this evening. It's second each of the first two games of the series. Lefty to lefty, Snell delivers, and a swing and a miss. Good old-fashioned heat. A 97-mile-an-hour fastball to end the top of the first inning. Dean Kramer on the mound tonight for the O's. He's got the three variations of the fastball. The four seam, the cutter, the sinker to go along with a changeup curve slider. He has struggled immensely with the long ball. Padres looking to take advantage of that here. Hassan Kim, Fernando Tatis Jr., Juan Soto, the first three to bat against the right-hander Kramer. And it's hit on the ground to third base to his left Henderson. On the grass, he fires low to first, but Mount Castle handles. And there is out number one. Tatis four for eight with a double and a walk in the series. Tatis one home run away from a 2020 season. 19 homers, he's stolen 20 bags. And Fernando lines it the other way into right field to base hit. One out single for Tatis, who has now hit in six consecutive games. He's five for nine in this series. And more hits going opposite field as well, Jesse. It's great to see the approach. Now, we know Fernando, when he's going to do the big damage, he's going to pull. But if he's hitting the ball opposite field like that, staying back on an off-speed pitch and lining it in a right field, it's usually a pretty good sign that a guy is seeing the ball well and staying balanced at the dish. So one out base runner for Juan Soto. See if Fernando tries to get aggressive on the base paths here with the Padres down one nothing. And that's ball four. Soto down to first base on the walk. The first free pass allowed by Kramer. First and second one out for the Padres. Two players facing each other for the first time, but they are certainly intertwined. Kramer was the big piece in the Manny Machado trade back in 2018 when Machado went to the Dodgers. The deal in retrospect, Machado, who's going to free agency. The Orioles get back Dean Kramer, who was one of their best pitchers last year. They get a really steady starting pitcher at just 27 years old. And Machado drives one into left field against him, and Dean Kramer retires Manny Machado. Uh, Dean Kramer called. A little bit of a break there, not where he wanted that breaking ball to Manny Machado. You can see him pushing his hands back and forth. Hayes saying that ball knuckled on me. But Hayes got an outstanding jump on that ball. Uh, said Machado signed a big contract with the Padres. Xander Bogart's another one who signed a big deal with San Diego. Spent a ton of money in the offseason, but it's yielded you know, them a team that's underperformed. Popped up at the pitcher's mound. Kramer looking up into the sky, being called off by Mount Castle. The first baseman makes a two-handed catch. Padres down one nothing are all set up runners on the corners nobody out and Fernando Tatis Jr. coming to bat on the ground and by the dive 
drive of Henderson at third in from third is Grisham. This game is tied one to one and Fernando drives it in. Two on one away for Manny. Opportunity to do some damage here against his old team. And again these two trade pieces will get a chance to face off with each other. Chato couldn't help himself. Strike three on a cutter and out number two in the third. Second strikeout for Kramer. One out away from limiting the damage. Xander Bogart's batting with two on and two out. Up the middle into center field, a base hit for Bogart. Here comes Kim. He will score, and the Padres take a 2 1 lead. And they are still set up with men on the corners, two outs for Jake Cronenworth. He lines it up the middle into center field, a base hit. Tatis will jog home from third. Another two out hit with runners in scoring position, and the Padres lead 3 1. Yeah, and I'll tell you what he hadn't done this year. As good as he's been, he's not given a lot of length. If you go back and look, He's averaging just over five and a third per start. And now Castle drives the ball deep into left field. And Juan Soto will watch it fly out of here. Ryan Mountcastle smacks another southpaw into the seats. And the Orioles slice the San Diego lead to 3-2. Base is empty, one out. Two and two on Grisham. Deep left center field back towards the wall. And it's gone. Trent Grisham goes opposite field. Padres have their two run lead back again. Well, he's having himself some kind of series. Three for four tonight, and now seven for 12. Another throw over to first. He is running, and it gets away from the first baseman, Mount Castle. Fernando's at second, now on his way to third, and he will stop there. Here comes Fernando. He's going to steal home. Fernando Tatis Jr. just walked in. Wow. 5 2. Don't take your eye off him. He may steal home. Rushman two for three on the night. Scored a run. Eighth pitch of this plate appearance for Rushman. And he hooks oh. it. Diving is Cronenworth. You can hit it anywhere, but you can't hit it to the crowd zone. That was fully stretched out. Just a fantastic play. That's full extension right full there, my friend. extension. A little scorpion at the end. Oh, yeah. The Orioles are down to their final out. Now Austin Hayes. 0 for 2 with a walk. 42-3-18 on their feet at Petco. They struck him out and the Padres win. Josh Hader closes the door on the American League East leading Baltimore Orioles. The Padres win the series.